I think personally that it has to do with uh, um, most people um, like to be comfortably away from problems. And so, for instance, when it comes to cuisine, I don't know, uh, but you have a number of people who will try anything and everything wherever they are. And if it's a snake or a cricket or whatever, they want to taste it because I've, they've never eaten a spider and you know and over here they actually serve it so they have they're very open-minded and they want to discover everything for themselves most people however uh sooner or later stick to stuff they know and the great danger of any ideology I mean, it's not only religion but any ideology is that <clears throat> It actually gives you the false message that you no longer have to think for yourself. All the answers are here in this book. So uh, why don't you just do what, and, and then everything goes well. And that's what that's how fanaticism uh, arises. It's uh, as this guy, Jaroszynski had uh, this uh, aphorism defining ideology. It's the mistaken belief that your beliefs are neither beliefs nor mistaken. So you, you actually have a set of rules, which you probably misunderstood yourself, but you know, this is the book to live by, and that is going to simplify my life. The only thing that we know from history is that whenever you do it, uh, it gets worse and worse. In Christianity, you had Catholics and all kinds of Protestant denominations killing each other. If you go to my youth, uh, when the Soviet Union still existed, you had Trotskyists, you had uh, Stalinists, you had Maoists, you had all kinds of people saying, you know, communism is true. Communism is wrong. Uh, current Islam, uh, the Shias are not real Muslims. It's only us that are the real Muslims. All th this is a tendency that is inside every person's head because every person's head wants simple answers. And the problem is that uh, the problem, but also the beauty of life is that, okay, there is a truth, of, obviously, but truth is, is a multifaceted thing. And the more open you are to whatever meaningful person uh, has to say to you, the more rich your life becomes and the more, the more constructive you can be. So is it safe to say that most human beings are walking ideologies? And even in our day, you know, in modern business, you have most people I know are walking ideologies of some specific path they've chosen, right? Oh, it existed all along. Like, for instance, if you take uh, as an example, not that uh, Akbar was not a saint and the guy that I'm about to mention was not a saint either, but Deng Xiaoping, for instance, mm -hmm. uh, who suffered tremendously in the uh, cultural revolution under Mao. So it was thrown in jail or, or banned twice, uh, had a son uh, handicapped for life in incidents with uh, revolutionary guards and so on. The guy was a pragmatist. And so he had these slogans about uh, finding the truth from facts. And the opposite was uh, the Red Guards was, uh, we, we no longer need any any books anymore we've got the thought of chairman mao and whatever we do needs to be in conformity with chairman mao even if chairman mao had not thought about the issue at so it's the the tendency to become mentally lazy instead of saying okay i need to discover the truth from facts i need to quote deng xiaoping i need to cross the river uh trying to find the stones, you know, step one step at a time. Pragmatism as such is a more difficult choice, but in the end, it always leads to more, uh, yeah, honest kinds of, uh, and that is probably also the appeal of, uh, of true democracy, that it invites people to disagree. Yeah that honest people can actually find some truth in the ideology of others. But as soon as, as you say, okay, this, I'm a socialist and this guy is a liberal. So therefore your, your mind is closed. It's 